Hey guys, Brian Holder here with WYSIWYG Pages. Just want to give you a real quick demonstration on a new extension that I will be releasing uh, pretty soon. And it's to help users create a uh, responsive price table. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is pop open the extension manager and install this. I'm going to show you just how easy that is. Uh, when you uh, receive this, you're going to get a zip file which you're going to download to your hard drive. And all you have to do is hit manual install in the extension manager here browse to the location where that file is and you're going to want to make sure you switch this file type down here to zip files so you can see it and I'm going to grab it right here easy price tables and lickety split just like that it has been installed and is ready to use so down at the very bottom of your toolbox you'll have a section for WYSIWYG web builder extensions and there is our price table right here so we're going to drag it out onto the canvas and I'm using my uh, 1210 grid system for this and we're going to make this a little bit bigger. So the first thing you're going to notice is that when you stretch this guy out, it is responsive. So it'll go to the whatever width you want it to be. So you can have two price plans, you can have six price plans, four, whatever. Uh, I'm going to run this out to 390 for this uh, demonstration. And let me just check real quick to make sure 390 works. Let me have the space for it. Okay, we're good. All right, so I'm going to delete these other two real quick. So, this thing is packed with all kinds of settings uh, so that we can make extremely uh, customized layouts here. And, excuse me, I want to make this just a little bit bigger so we can see it all, or most of it anyways. So the first thing that we have in, is the section called the header style. And the very first thing we have is the unique ID. Um, 472 is just a random number. I hit the keypad and that's what came out. Um, you want to make sure for each price table that you create, you want to give it a, a unique ID. It can be any number between 1 and I think 5 nines. Five, you know, 9, 9, 9, and 9. Uh, any number you want, does not matter which, but it's important that we give each table a unique ID so that way uh, we can avoid any styling conflicts between the different tables, especially if you're going to have different tables with different colors or different button colors, etc. Um, so I'm going to leave it at 472 because that's the first table we have. And of course you can choose the background color of the header, which is this section at the top where we have this blue background. And we can choose a font color for all the text that's in there. And there is a border around that section as well, so we can choose a border width, color, and style type. Okay, and of course uh, we have a border radius section, which will change the border radius of the top just the top corners okay so that way if we want to have a price table with rounded top corners and square bottom corners we can do that uh, the next section is called the plan title and all that is is going to style this text right here uh, where it says gold plan and we can of course change the name of that and this is going to be a low, lower tier plan so we're going to call this bronze we'll just stick with the uh, precious metals theme here and I, i'm an open sands uh, fan so i'm going to change that to open sands i want that to be light with a 300 font weight uh, size 14 is, looks pretty good. And the next section we have is plan price. Same thing. We can choose the price that we want, the font style, the weight, and the um, size. So for this, um, I'm going to do something a little bit crazy and go rock salt. And 44 is good. Next is the description. This could basically be anything you want. Um, you can have it say something like most popular, or you can have it say something like it's, it's $6 per month. Um, you know, uh, recommended, whatever you want that to say. It's just a little description, or you can even leave it blank if you don't want it to appear. That's fine as well. Um, and, of course, we can change the settings on this as well. So 300, 12 is a little bit big for this. So I'm going to go 10 maybe. And the next section we have is called the features list, and that's right here. And that's going to be where we list out all the features that uh, this whatever this product is we're trying to sell. So let's say we're, uh, for instance, we're selling web hosting, and let's say that this low tier plan has five gigabytes of disk space. And let's say it has um, 15 gigabytes of bandwidth, so on and so forth. Okay. So I'm going to fill these out real quick. Okay, so I just filled these out a little bit, saved some time. Uh, and one of the cool things about this is that we can style this text right here within this little WYSIWYG um, uh, editor. So we can kind of change and, and do whatever we want with this text here. So first thing I'm going to do is change this to my Open Sans. It's my favorite font, as I said. And I'm going to drop this down maybe to 11. 
and I want to give it a little bit of flair so I'm going to just kind of bold out some of these just so that they kind of stand out and look, look pretty cool on the page. Kind of helps the user distinguish that there's multiple lines here with multiple things. And we're going to give this a color. Um, I'm going to go 888. And I'm just going to hit OK because that is done. And now we can change the background color and the border around this box right here. And I'm going to leave it at the settings uh, that it has because I like it. I'm going to change this to zero so you can see the, uh, the border radius effect. So this will have squared uh, corners on the bottom, round corners on the top. And the next we have the button section. This is where we can customize this button a little bit. And we change what it says, of course, the URL for which it goes to. And this is the WYSIWYG uh, URL thing. So we can do external, internal page, email address, file, FaceTime, phone, blah, 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 whichever you need. And we're just going to link this to Google for the sake of this demonstration. Okay. And uh, there is a title tag in here as well, so there will be a little bit of SEO with that if you want. Uh, it's up to you if you want to use that or not. You can leave it blank, leave it the default, whichever. I'm going to change this to Open Sans. And drop this back down. To, uh, actually, I'm going to leave this, I'm going to put that at 500 so it's a little bit thicker. And maybe 10. Uh, background color is good, hover. Uh, we, do, we can do a hover color as well, same with the font color. Uh, we can have a hover for the font. And we can change, of course, the border radius of that uh, button as well. And then we have the box shadow setting, which is down here, which will give a box shadow around the entire price box. Okay. And these are set up to give a kind of a nice little uh, lifting type box shadow. But you can remove that, set all these to zero if you want, or um, you know, change the color, change the size, whatever you want to do with that. And so here's our price box. And what's important to know is that after you do this, you're going to want to uh, adjust your height accordingly. Uh, because the height will not adjust automatically. Okay, so there's price box one, and now we're going to make our second price box. And this is going to be our featured plan. Get in there. Okay, so the featured plan, let's say, um, we need to make sure we change this unique ID, so I'm just going to put in 87, just the first numbers I hit, and I'm going to make this uh, just a little bit darker. It stands out a little bit more. Okay. And we're going to leave the font color white. And we're going to change the border around that as well. So that dark color. Okay. Plan title. This is going to be the silver. And this is all good. Um, I think maybe I might increase that just a little bit. Give a little bit more focal to it. And this is going to be a $9 plan, let's say. And we'll change this font size just a tiny bit. And the description, that's fine. We'll leave that the same. And then we can come in here and edit some of these fields. So let's say this is you know, a little bit bigger. Bigger plan. And one of the cool things we can do is add in something else like it's popular. And we can give this our uh, rock salt. Make it a tiny bit bigger. Hit OK. And actually meant to change the text color here. I'm going to make this white. OK. Now the background color, I'm going to actually change this to the lighter blue. Likewise for the border. I'm going to give it actually the darker blue for the border. I'm going to reintroduce that 5 there in all of these settings. What we want to do is change this to maybe uh, a white. Over to light gray. Font color. Light blue, which hovers to the dark blue. And maybe we give it just a little bit more shadow. Okay, so now we can see how that changed, and you see how we have to adjust this height now. Make sure we compensate accordingly. Okay. And I'm going to clone this one again real quick. 
and we'll go through and edit these settings a little bit more. So unique number. This will be our gold plan. Priced at twelve dollars. See how quickly and easily you can go through and edit this once you get the first one set up. Okay, so now this one's all set. And so what we're going to do is just center these up, uh, align the middles here. And now we can go ahead and preview this. I'm going to push F5 to hit preview. So we'll see what this looks like in the browser. And there we go. There we have it. So pretty nice looking uh, price tables. You might have to adjust this size a little bit. It looks like we have some overlapping. Uh, it is a little bit ridiculously big. And you'll see we have nice little hover effects. And that was quick and easy. We can adjust these. Set. Oop, what am I doing? We need to switch our size here. And so what I'm going to do real quick is Control A. I'm going to Control X to cut them and then Control V to paste them. That way when I go to my next breakpoint, they're all in the right spot. Okay, now we just drop these down a little bit. I think we need to go to about 250 to make them all fit. No, 290. I'm thinking of uh, the next break. Oh, this will work. Okay, and we go to this breakpoint, and we can go actually 290 on it. And of course, we could rearrange this to put our most popular plan at the top, so it's the first thing the user sees, the visitor. But we'll just stack them up this way for now. Okay, hit F5 to preview that. Let's check out that uh, responsiveness. Here we are at full size. Bring it down, we break. Bring it down, we break. And there you have it. So, I hope you like this quick little introduction, and uh, just keep checking uh, the WYSIWYG Pages uh, Facebook page or our Facebook group. Um, the Facebook group, if you just go on Facebook and search for WYSIWYG Forum, uh, that'll show up as well as uh, just search for WYSIWYG Pages. You'll be able to find our page, and uh, I'll put all the announcements out on that when these are ready. And I um, hope you like that. And again, uh, shoot, me, uh, shoot me an email or get on the website and uh, use the contact form if you got any questions. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys.